Hmm. Oh. Nice music you got here. Can I, uh... Can I listen to it? I, I just figured I would start today's stream with one of the best inclusions from this series in uh, the Smash Bros. series. This is a little-known piece of music called Environmental Noises. Whoever wrote this song, they're just... Like, this is almost as good as the... From, uh, you know, Donkey Kong Arcade. I love the fuck out of this song. But hello, welcome to stream. I hope everyone's doing okay. Hi. Um, I am here playing video games. And it's not... Oh, oh apparently that song isn't even in Pikmin 3. Damn. Damn. I was really hoping for an Environmental Noises cameo. Even just, even just if we could get, like, the light motif in the game, that would have been excellent. But here we are. Um, so, uh, I've never really played too much Pikmin. Uh, that, that's what we're playing today. D did you see? Oh, sorry, it's not Pikmin, it's Pickle Man. Um, we're playing Pickle Man 3, uh, because it's on Switch. Pickle Man 1 and 2 are not on Switch. Uh, and I don't own Pickle Man 1 or 2 in any shape or form. Actually, I think... Is one of the Pikmin games available on Wii U Virtual Console? Because they, they were, like, re-released on Wii, right? So, is one of those versions on Wii U VC? I don't know. Regardless, uh, this is the only one that I have any kind of experience with, which is mostly just the first area of the game, so I guess I have... Once again, just like the Banjo stream lied and said that I've kind of played this game. Oh, except Banjo, not really. But I, I, for that, I said the thing, the brain hurt. Hi. Just, just hello. Welcome. I don't need to play on that profile. We're going to play on the real profile. So, yes, welcome to stream. Uh, hope everyone's doing okay. Um, I have yet to even touch the Switch version of this game. Like, I bought the game with the intentions of streaming it about eight or nine months ago. You see, but then I started playing a game called Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, which threw my whole, like, planned schedule for that year way off course, because that thing took me, like, four months to get through. Uh, and then I just kind of kept pushing it back and pushing it back and pushing it back until... <laughs> Until we got here to these graphics. So this is Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Um, I have no idea what changed uh, between the original and this. Obviously, I'm playing this with a uh, Pro Controller and not a Wii U gamepad, which I think some people think is inferior. I hear that the gamepad controls were actually pretty good because you could, like, tap on the touchscreen or to toss the Pikmin lads. Um... This game does look very graphics, though. Um, we've got side stories. Um, bingo battle. Okay, and missions. We're, we're just going to do the story for now. And then if I like what I'm playing, we will check out the other things. Um, this is going to be one player, unfortunately. I had actually considered doing two players for this game, but it's a little difficult to arrange like a proper schedule with a person like coming over every like six days, so I figured I'd just play the game by myself. Bingo battle is always a fun two-player thing. Okay, well, if I can get my friend Caleb who wanted to play this game with me, if I can get him over maybe to do like one or two co-op episodes then we could also check out bingo battle i'm not sure how i'm gonna handle this we have to first figure out if i like the game i have the intent Ooh, ultra spicy oh you have to play on hard first though well we're gonna we're gonna play on normal because i've never really played a pikmin game too much i have very light experience at the far Voice reaches acting? of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. The planet's name? Kopai. 
due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic lack of planning, Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only Fucking hope Earth. is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. Earth 2. Electric to Boogaloo. Their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Ah, I see what they did. They're fruitless. Just as they're about to give up. The final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilized to investigate the planet, which they named PNF-404. A good sound effect there. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. Is it Kopai? What, what is that? There's a Nintendo lore related to the word Kopai. I don't remember what, though. I remember Iwata-san talking about it. 279,000 light-year voyage nears its end. But, as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. Was that the fucking duck hunt dog laugh sound effect there, as the ship exploded? Well, that's unfortunate. So, all of our playing characters are, are dead. So, the game's over. Pack it up, folks. We just... Space died, as opposed to, you know, planetary died. Uh, okay, not everything is voice acted. I was like, I wasn't expecting this game to be voice acted. I thought I had to do reading myself. I guess it's just the opening monologue. Uh, I have no idea who's talking here, so just... Ugh, what happened? Yo! Lemon flavored pickles. Is this Charles? Where am I? Last thing I remember was. Oh, of course. This must be PNF 404. Now that's a computer joke. 404, because we couldn't find it until now. Charles to ship! Charles to ship! Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Uh, hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew! Charlie. At least it's not Charmy. But I managed to escape unscathed! No. What about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. Only hope they survived. Oh, you know, I only hoped. Okay. So you move with the analog stick? Whoa, 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 whoa. If you get stuck in story mode, press up to view a strategy hint. Okay. So. Oh, there's no camera controls? It's like a one-to-one -one camera. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Um, not one-to-one, -one, but like no control camera. It's just you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Um, uh, what in the... Yo, pickles. Look at those lemon pickles. I know in a lot of ways, Miyamoto loves the Pikmin series and wishes... It was more successful. There are more of them! What? Oh, strange. Um, got lots of mushrooms in the way. This planet's mushrooms are huge! Look at they. I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? My whistle will scare them off. Stay back! I'm surrounded! Maybe I should throw them! Get away from me!
They don't appear hostile. Let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing them and pressing B and throw them with A. Okay. So, yes, I know the I know the basics of Pikmin. The basics are you collect the lads, they do different things. And you can whistle them. And then uh you throw them, which is not any form of cruelty, I promise. But instead, it's it's just their role in life to attack and eat and destroy. I guess. I should look around for my crew. Um, we'll get a couple of extras, I suppose. So yeah, you, you have like an amount of them that you can hold on to, which I don't know the max amount at this current moment, but this is fine. Um, and I think just the general basics of it is when you get like further into the game, it turns into Majora's Mask, where you have like a clock and you have to like do your objectives within the clock's time. And that's what I know about this. Ah, oh, yes. I did, for what it's worth, I did play the the Pikmin game in, uh... in Nintendo Land. I played that all the way through. Remember that hip video game? So, I guess I have the general basics understood. These guys sure are dedicated. I'm excited to try this, though. I've been playing a lot of new games on stream lately. New for me, anyways. We've got Banjo, Metroid. Now this. I don't remember this intro at all, though. Like, most of everything in this game is going to be completely blind for me. Because just brain do not work. Okay, guess we're going to Alf's perspective now. This boy I do know, obviously. He's in Smash. It's just an alternate costume for uh, Olimar. Functionally, they're the same character as far as I understand. Not the same character, but like, you know. I don't think the captains or the, the, the playable characters have too much of different abilities here. It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. You seem so enthused to be alive. It must be the concussion. Drake? Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. Who am I talking to? I do not know. Okay, well, we're wearing a space suit, so water doesn't really mean anything. I like space games where you wear the helmet and then the water just doesn't mean anything. Infinite air is cool. <laughs> What was that? Yo, that was Steve? Why are we co why is this Steve? Steven. Steven Pickle. It appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. Yo, is that a frube? What is that stuck in the branch? Uh, anything I can do. Look at him. Lock onto the red fruit with ZR. Just locked on? Oh, that's not ZR, that's ZL. And throw. Okay.
space fruit. Oh. Oh. Okay. I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellow seemed quite pleased now that it's freed. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing... Uh, okay. Face forward with ZL and look around. Oh, wait. You can look around? Oh, you can look around. Never mind. It was just the beginning of the game that was limited. What is this? Okay. I, I don't know what I did there. I like... If I hold Y, I get D-pad actions. Yo, can I... Now, now we got five lads. I also know people used to like playing Pikmin with the Wii controls. Apparently that was good, and a lot of people liked that. Are they just gonna work on that automatically? Okay, yeah. Alright, so we've got the 3DS um, system transfer going on over here. Uh, I know this is just a game about, like, you throw a Pikmin down and then... Like, they go do their task, and then you go look for more Pikmins or other things to do. And it's about managing your action within the amount of time that you have. And that is what I understand this game is. And then they go back over there. Which is why you would have to call upon them with this. Yo, it's your gamepad! That's not a thing that we do anymore. My coke pad! Oh. Oh. Okay. Cool. Thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. It's located right there. J just right there, my dude. It's got a camera as well. Map data. Right, it still works. Of course, I'd expect nothing less from Copite Engineering. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the Copad screen. Okay. Using the radar. Check your surroundings. Where's the Drake? Okay, it's over there. Ah, the SS Drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'd best head in that direction. Oh, it's it's not a gamepad anymore, right? The, the Wii U was is a myth. We don't talk about that anymore. This is just a switch. You're right. I forgot. I'm sorry. I'll I'll do better next time. Now we can start exploring with the help of the copad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. They should have renamed it though to like the Copitch. Actually, that that name doesn't really roll off the tongue very well, does it? Where are you taking these? What what are we seeding here? Proceed to don't seed. I need one of these. No, 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 no. Someone grab one of these, please. Oh god. Okay, and that sprouts new Pikmin. Okay. That thing is popping out some sort of spouts! Okay. Yeah, the gamepad touchscreen uh, controls probably would have been amazing for being more specific about where we're throwing things. I do not have this game on Wii U, unfortunately, so this is the version we're playing. I'll get used to the controls, it'll be fine. Hold A to multi pluck, okay. Uh, I see. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How oh, incredibly fascinating. They're both plant and mammal. Plammal! Okay, yeah, he just kind of runs over automatically when you're holding A. That's convenient. Okay. Do we need... 
20 lads for that, it looks like. Uh-oh. I, I suppose this is what the lock-on is for, though. Uh, not having to rely on complete accuracy with the uh, aiming here. Okay. Oh, and this one has five. Okay. Uh, I think... Can they all carry that on their own? Or do they need five Pikmin to carry it? They need five. Um, okay. So you run back here. I could get into this. I've, I've never really played too many uh, real-time strategy games. Um, certainly a few. But I can't even think, you know what, no, I can't even say certainly a few because I can't even think of any offhand that would be considered a real-time strategy. Again, I, I lived my life as a hermit <laughs> growing up. I didn't play a lot of games uh, that were out of my comfort zone. Like, I, I got the same games every year for Christmas. I got the Marios. I got the Zeldas. Uh, I had to, like... Only through my own interest and in being, you know, Smash Brothers made me pick up Xenoblade. Because, you know, I have to insert me talking about that game into every stream ever. I wonder if this will give me 10. If it multiplies by 2. Uh, not quite. Oh, he even, he even will, like, run away from that distance. Okay. Well, I have one extra here. What is this enormous thing? The drake must be somewhere on the other side of it. Oh, I thought we were going to lift this box. I guess we just push. Push! What is that? I, I don't know. What is that? It looks like someone left a data file here. Perhaps the copad will be able to read it. The onion is like a nest for Pikmin. It both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Excellent! The copad can read the data file. So these creatures are called Pikmin. This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the copad's exploration notes. That's right, we got the onion now. Didn't, um... Actually, now that I think about it, didn't this version of the game add, like, a mode where you play around with Olimar? Is that what the side story is? I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file, so who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? No. No pickles. No beans. No ass. Got no pickles. Drake should be through here. Okay. Oh, more data files. Okay. Change the radar's orientation in the other settings in the options menu. Thank you, mysterious thing. I hate mushrooms. I hate mushrooms! Murder everything! Where's this? The D-pad doesn't actually do anything. Oh, you have to do it with the analog stick. And that just makes all of the charge. <laughs> okay. So I guess that just makes the Pikmin... Yeah. They leave you for some reason. I guess if you want to go walk somewhere and uh, not have them follow because it's dangerous for them, Okay. So this is what the charge is for. It's just an attack. Okay. Hmm. 
team My crew could learn a lot from this kind of teamwork. Ain't that the truth? Hope the Drake is nearby. Oh, there it is. Perfect landing. The SS Drake! W what is this? Like, forehead dimple eyebrows. What the hell is that? The co pad isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. I guess Pikmin are alive. What am I supposed to do now? Incoming transmission. Who could it be? Alf, it's me, Brittany. It's Brittany, bitch. You copy? Thank goodness. You're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm stuck. Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. <laughs> what was that strange sound? Oh, don't worry, that was just me. I, I, I do that from time to time. The sun is setting, which could mean that that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet's surface for now. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna leave my pickle folk behind, I guess. All right, okay, okay. Oh, on your it's following. Most of the supplies we brought with us from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing. So now we only have three days worth of edible provisions left. Starting tomorrow, I'll we'll have to find some local food. They brought this tiny ass little ship in order to get more food for their entire planet. The hell? Review the replay with the fine tune to fine tune your strategy. The replay. Oh, you get to see exactly what you did for the course of the time to see how you micromanage things. Okay. That's fine. Um, day one, good. Good. A shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany and we'll set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the onion took flight as well. Ah, but amazing. Oh. Okay. So I've seen, uh, I've seen Chugga Conroy play this once. I watched, I watched his playthrough a long, long time ago. What is this, Australia? Doesn't this take place in, is it like distant Earth or no? Or is it just like an abandoned planet? We're just like tiny folk compared to distant Earth. Track down Brittany's signal right now. Finding her is the highest priority. However, I'm also very concerned that our cosmic drive key is now missing. If I don't find that, the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Kopai. That would be very, very bad. Hold on. Off to Australia we go. 
I'm not sure exactly how long this game is, but um, I intend to play through all of it. Luckily, my pickle folk come with me. Brittany should be around here. Something's flashing on my map. Maybe it's her. I'm running out of sustenance, so I hope I find her before it's too late. Looks like the onion has followed me here. So where are the Pikmin? Okay, you have a bank? You got a Pikmin in the bank! Yo, Pikmin in the bank, what up? Um... I guess I'll take 20. Leave one. I guess. I don't know why I left one, but I left one. Oh, that's right, the data file I found explained all this. The onions is the Pikmin's nest. Okay. I'm going to install an application on the copad that lets me check the Pikmin status remotely. Yo, look at that man! And slap four! I'm not even gonna draw attention to that, I guess. It's just... It's there. He's bulbin. Okay. So, let us... Let us explore and murder. Aim for its back and for victory. Okay. Whoops. I feel like I'm going to be doing that one often. Classic gamer move. Okay. I can see how this game can be fun. It seems like a nice, like, relaxing game. Like, in some aspects, it's kind of stressful with the time aspect, but I think after a certain point, from what I understand, if you just get a bunch of fruit, the time is not so important. Press and release X to charge with the currently selected Pikmin. I don't know if that's an accurate analysis. Uh, probably need to charge that. We need to throw a sp oh, a specific type of Pikmin. Stop being dumb. Also, yeah, I had no reason to kill that butterfly, but you know, I I just felt like it was being rude, existing without my permission. Didn't give it. I didn't give it no fucking permission to exist. Well, that's a big lad over there. I think the more Pikmin you have working on certain tasks, the quicker they get them done. Like there's a minimum requirement to do certain things, but then if you throw more on the scene, then you get it done quicker. Like I could I could throw just a couple of Pikmin at this pile right here. And eventually they'll get it done. Or I could throw exactly 14. And they'll all get it done. As Pikmin develop, they get faster. They grow from leaf to bud to flower. Is that mechanic still in Smash Bros for the Pikmin? Oh. Flower bloomed on that Pikmin's head. It's amazing how many plant-like qualities they possess. I wonder if they develop any new skills with that flower. I have to keep a close eye on them. I remember there was a mission, like one of the mission mode missions in, in Smash Brawl, where you just have to survive and let the Pikmin blossom into flowers, which apparently makes them more powerful. When they consume nectar, they blossom. Okay. I love their noises, though. They weren't all able to consume the nectar, unfortunately, though. Only so much nectar to go around. Once the Pikmin are done transporting fragments, they will return to the original location. Right.
And so... Isn't it also that when you, like, kill things that they take it back to the, uh... To the nest? How do you sneak? I'm like, I'm doing very light analog stick movement, but, like, it's not working unless I go all the way. Attack from behind to gain the advantage. Kind of scary that that thing is sleeping with its eyes open like that, but... Super kill! When the going gets tough, retreat to a hiding place and wait for an opportunity. Okay. You can hide in the grass. Okay. Electrical shit over here. You know what? I think I'm gonna like this game. I think the problem that I more or less had with it originally... Which wasn't even much of a problem, but just... I was too young and dumb to understand what was going on in the game, I think. And so, like, I would run out of food and then I'd just get stressed. Okay. Uh, we seem to have done everything in this area. I seem to recall getting stuck as well. And, like, not knowing what to do. Which is not a problem, really. Oh, I didn't see this sand wall over here. I like puzzle things. I like to feel smart. Even if, you know, I, I spend well over, like, three hours trying to find one Jiggy in Rusty Bucket Bay, or not Rusty, well, you know the one, Treasure Trove. Oh no, Brittany's just lying there, I hope I'm not too late. I don't know why Rusty Bucket came to my eye, I haven't even played that level yet. Pick, pick up, Brittany, pick up, please still be alive! Alf! Sorry about that, I was just taking a little nap. So you're close by. Why wasn't I moving, you ask? <laughs> well, you know me. I'm a pretty sound sleeper, even with these creatures creeping around. Yeah, I played Cranker's Cavern or whatever the fuck, but not Rusty Bucket. Never mind that. Listen, I discovered what looks like a piece of fruit. It's over there! Look! Over there! I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Did you go and check it out for me? And there she is. Have some pickle folk! I right, never mind. Alright, put him up! This is a strawberry! Wow, it's even bigger than I thought it would be. This giant thing really is Frube. That we've hit the jackpot! I'd like to analyze it at the Drake, but how do I get it there? Hmm, I wonder. I uh, can't do that yet. I need to figure out these controls right now. I keep hitting the wrong button when I'm trying to do things. Uh, I can't go through there quite yet. Red Pikmin are good fighters. Okay. Aren't they, like, also fireful? In nature? Analyzing. Oh! The Drake is sending us a message! Oh, they got the... the frube there. Okay. Analyzing recovery. Sunseed berry. Oh, it's it's not a strawberry. It's just a sunseed. Got it. Large quantity of Pikmin U detected. I wonder what the U stands for. Pictamin. Sorry, not Pik... 
Not Pikmin, Pictamen. This is a seed bearing fruit, making cultivation on Kopai possible. Juice from this fruit is safe for consumption by crew members. Okay, so we got one more provision from that. A lot of fruit files to the, to the Copad, where we can store the results of our analysis. So was it all of this map stuff constantly active on the gamepad? Uh, which let you, like, analyze the map in real time while, like, walking about, kind of like Wind Waker. Since I don't know much about plants, I'll ask Brittany to write the reports. She is the botanist, after all. Yeah, that was how it worked. Little bummed to not have that feature, but also I didn't really have a way to record it, so it's fine, I guess. Would have been more fun for me, though. Yo! What are you made out of? <gasps> Look! Yo! They got Flint? Flint Flintstone is in this game? I thought, are these creatures Pikmin too? They're giving me a funny look! I... I really like them. I like their faces. Do they want to break it? Seems to be Pikmin after all. Yeah, that should save him. Ooh, I don't like the way that ramen comes out of that onion. So, their onion was trapped inside that crystal. So, I have two types of Pikmin now. I can select the ones I want to use with L and R. Uh, the Pikmin or person? What do you mean, person to throw? And when I want to split them up by type, I'll use Y to dismiss the squad. How strong are these fuckers? Dismiss your squad with Y, and then the Pikmin will sort themselves into different color groups. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So, depending on which one is in the forefront here is what I'm going to throw. Okay. Oh, we have a ton of red Pikmin, so the red Pikmin can carry the corpse, I guess, so we can get more seed folk. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Does it matter which Pikmin carry it? Make more rock. So if if the rock brings it, then then it makes more rock Pikmin. Oops. Uh. No. Yes. Okay. I'm saying no to the Pikmin. Okay. Maybe, maybe that was another problem I had, I don't, I don't remember, but maybe I made too much of the wrong types of Pikmin, so it made tasks annoying. I don't really remember why I, I put this game down. I didn't get super far. I think I got like up and maybe a little past the first boss. And other than that, not much. Uh, maybe I want to do this. Cause that's another thing. Also, they seem to keep attacking it even after I've tossed them, so that's good. New sprouts will be the same color as the Pikmin that retreat. Okay. Hmm. Got that tutorial just a second too late after the question. Okay. Then we just let them do their tasks. You put a friend in the corner. Oh god, how often is that gonna happen? Where I just accidentally toss a thing, don't even realize it, and then chat's like, no! 
I hope not too often. Okay, so Pikmin, rock Pikmin are made of rock, which means Dwayne Johnson is nearby, of course. Can I? Yeah, that works. That seems more convenient. I like, I love their noises. I wish this would throw the non nectared ones first. It seems to be kind of random on which ones it picks. That's fine though. I can't break through this wall. That sucks. No. It's Brittany, bitch! Whew. I can't tell you how happy I am to get out of this place. I'm sick of sleeping outside, and I'm super hungry. Uh, what's with your entourage there? What's that you say? They're called Pikmin. Oh, well, they're cute. Well, we don't have time for cuteness right now. Look over there, Alfie! Alfie? Alfie Nation, rise up! Let's work together to nab that piece of fruit. Okay. Throw me! Okay, let's throw some Pikmin. Brain her with the rocks. Break the helmet. I'll take it from here. Press Y and select me, if you'd be so kind. Okay. Split into two squads and manage your workload more efficiently. Oh god. Oh god, there's a lot of management here. Okay. So you do this and then that to swap. Can you command captains to move, like, to a place, though, I wonder? Uh, spam through this, I guess, until we get... The right Pikmin there. I think all the nectar was eaten. Think that's a thing? Okay. On the copad's radar, align with your destination and select Go here! Okay, well that answers that. Well, strange to find such a data file. Come to think of it, the radar did have a go here feature. We should try it out soon. It'd be helpful if we decide to split it into multiple squads. Okay. So where is that? How do I access that? Okay, so it's minus. So we can do... Go here. I guess, yeah, let's send... Brittany there. How do I... How do I switch again? Wait, how do you switch to... Oh, he has to be, like, separated. Okay. Uh, well, in that case... Let's give him some rock Pikmin. And... No, what are you doing? Buttons! Uh, no, what are you doing? Buttons! Okay. Brittany... We'll go there. And now we can... Okay, now we can help. Wait, actually, I think I want to do it the other way around. Alf, go here. Alright. I will eventually learn these controls, I promise, maybe. How do I end the go here? I guess it's just a guide on the ground. It, it doesn't really... It's, I guess it doesn't negatively affect anything. Yeah. 
It's a little, like, distracting at most. Pellets retrieved by Pikmin of the same color produce more sprouts. Oh, okay. So. Wait, what color? Oh, it can swap colors? I guess... I guess... Yeah, that's fine. Uh... Probably actually should have saved some rock Pikmin for myself here. Oh, here's some stuff. No, stop. Not them. I can still attack these dudes as long as they don't have the thing on their head, it looks like. All of my Pikmin over here. <laughs> they all stop to be like, what do you fucking want from me? Alright. Thought I saw on the map. Yeah, there's another Froob over here. Which is good for reserves. What is this? Oh, it's a pile of more things. Uh, okay, well, in that case, Brittany... Go there. And then you're already over here. And you have the biggest group of them all, so... We'll have you... It's gonna take me a little bit, I think, to get these controls down immediately, but... I'm into what I'm playing so far. The radar is picking up something. There's a signal coming from here. It must be the captain. Yep, that's totally the captain, Elf. That's, yep, that's what that is. Let's go there right away. They got tutorials everywhere. Red Pikmin are resistant to fire. Okay. What is this dude? Okay, so they, they let you know when they get to their destination as well. That's handy. Wait, Rox! Oh. I was like, wait, wait a minute. I almost just lost some rock friends. Our materials for constructing a bridge on the opposite shore. If I work together with Brittany, I think we can get that bridge built. Ask Brittany to join the squad, move the cursor to her, and call her by pressing B. Okay. I could do that. Theoretically. Move the cursor to your target and press ZR to lock on. Throw non-stop by pressing and holding A. Oh, you can just hold it. Okay. Let's get some more rocks. You can do that on the next day as well. That's true. Because we are starting to come to the end of the day. Which I think is what that bell is trying to let us know. Uh, and I think... So, so what happens if you completely run out of time? Do you die? Or do you just, like, what, what event happens? Let's, uh, let's swap. Wait. Call or return Pikmin. Did they not? Weren't there some things that carried some shit? Where'd that go? 
Huh? A shit ton of red Pikmin over there. Didn't I have some... Oh, they're all here right now. What are they cut up on? Wait, no, that's just that group. Wasn't there another group of rock Pikmin? That I was having being summoned by the seed things over here? Um. Uh. Did they, maybe they took it to the red thing. Onion, stop spitting, or oh, stopped spitting out seeds. Huh? But the Pikmin inside the onion still seem to be increasing in numbers. Apparently, once the surface population reaches 100, new Pikmin are born inside the onion. This means that a maximum of 100 Pikmin can be active outside the onion. Ah, yes. Only 100 Pikmin population density. The Reds carried it, so it went to Reds. Even though the... The chips were, were black, it still went to the reds. Okay. I guess I messed up there then. Alright. So there's one- there is a single Pikmin in there. Uh, I think what I'm going to do... ...is deposit... All of these. Do I have to deposit at the end of the day? Do I have to deposit all of the Pikmin in the same... in their respective color? If so, this is going to be annoying because it's way over here. Um, I guess I can manually walk Alf over there to get rid of these black Pikmin before it gets... Too late. Or rock Pikmin, I think they're actually called. The sun will be setting soon. Any stray Pikmin will undoubtedly face attacks from nocturnal predators. But the Pikmin that are close to the onion should be able to make it back on their own. Make sure Pikmin are in your squad or close to the onion when the sun sets. Others will perish. I'd better call back the Pikmin who aren't in my squad before it's too late. But it could be tiring to walk around everywhere to collect all the Pikmin. But make sure that when you are press A near the SS Drake, a whistle will be sound that will call all Pikmin back to the onion. Wait, what? So you can... When you're near, assemble all. All Pikmin come here. Okay. So if they're in my squad, then it's fine. I don't need to carry them back. Is that... Yes. No. Yes. Nope. I'm not sure if I need to deposit them all or not. I guess it wouldn't hurt to just be safe. Where did everything go? Oh, map got like reoriented. I guess we're all in the squad together, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, well, in that case, hang on, let's return all the Pikmin. I, I would imagine if they're in my squad, like he said, they'll be fine. But I don't really have much else to do on this day, I don't think, so. Just, we'll just do this. It's fine. Okay. 
you have nothing else you can do, you can auto end the day. Is that fine? Does that hurt me? I see the option, but the question is, is it good? Um, that's just the control settings. Gyro? What, for aiming and throwing? Just POV. Int display. Um, these are fine, I think, by the defaults. It doesn't hurt at all. Okay. Oh, I know this music. We do be noodling up in this shit. I like the sound effects they make when they walk. They sound like leather. Floppy, gross, sweaty leather. What is happening? Are they about to mate? Oh! Super onion! I have to make note of this fascinating behavior. Different colored onions can fuse into a single onion. Okay, that's more convenient then. Let's analyze the other fruit too. Face wrinkler. It it do be wrinkling. Oh, you can get multiple frubes sometimes. More sunseed berry. Where's the hidden Luigi? Ooh, you can combine them too. Lemon strawberry seems like a weird combination, but I'm into it. I'll ration out the juice. No extra gulps for anyone. Oh, it still only takes one preservative, despite two people here. Okay. This is great! We actually have a little bit of a juice buffer! You can now spend the next remaining days getting more of a buffer in the frubes. Okay. Okay. We could- we could frube buffer! Back on board, we ran an, an analysis on the fruit we retrieved and found it suitable for copite consumption. Looks like there's plenty more where that came from. Reuniting with Brittany, finding this fruit. It's still early, but things seem to be taking a turn for the better. Frub is made of frub. Important knowledge to be shared. Excuse me, sorry. Gamer Juice is doing this to me. We finally discovered edible matter. After close analysis, my conclusion is that fruit juice is delicious. Never tasted anything like that on Kopai. We need to continue our search. If there is more to be had, we should have it. Right. Let's focus all of our energy on finding more fruit and absolutely nothing else. We still need the cosmic drive key. We can't get home without that. Right. Let's focus all our energy on retrieving fruit and the key and absolutely nothing else. The captain. We still need to find the captain as well. Right. So we'll just get the food, the key, and the captain. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? What's that signal coming from over there? Sincerely hope it's the captain. Let's hurry there and find out. Good idea. He might be hogging all the fruit for himself. Three out of question mark. Zero out of question mark. Wow, way to spoil that this game has grapes and oranges. What the fuck?
I wanted my fruit to be more limited. If you leave a crew member near Sprouts, they will be plucked automatically. But are they seedless? That is the question at hand today. Um... So let's... Let's create more rocks. Because we got plenty of reds right now. Rocks would be useful. Oh, and then they stay flowered. Okay, that's handy. Take mostly rocks across the bridge. Okay. How open-ended is this game, I wonder? Okay, hang on. Like, I imagine there's a lot of- eventually there can be a lot of different strategies to this game, right? Or is it pretty linear in what you can do? Split the group evenly. And then you. Alright, so for you, let's... Um, there was some stuff over here. That I want you to do. So you can take care of stuff over here, then. Um, we still have arrows. Is that the hints? How do I turn that off? I don't want those hints. Get that out of here. What's that? Yeah, that's the hints, okay. Stop, Alf. If he's going across the water... Why would he be going across the water, huh? I told him to come here. To, to do these rocks, why? He'll be good, right? The arrows made me think he was going across. No, I think those arrows was the was the hints of uh like the game was like go here to find success and win. I'm like I don't need the hints. Rock Pikmin aren't crushed when trampled on. Okay. Is that why you want me to carry mostly rocks then? Here, the game wanted me to believe that the red Pikmin were the fighters. The fighters! Yellow Wallywog. It can't jump when it's weighed down with Pikmin. Okay. Yo. Fuck this butterfly! What's that little dude down there? There's a, there's a motherfucking slug down there. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa, whoa. Did I say you could do this? No. No, I did not. Got the Deku leaf, I guess. Th these fuckers can turn anything into fucking. Shit, huh? This game is taking way more brain power than I thought it would out of me, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I... I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I gave up on this game ever so long ago. No, 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 what are you doing? We're over here, fam. We're famine over here. We're 
What are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? There, there seems to be no way to like prioritize which Pikmin are being thrown. Unless that's something that I get later, maybe. Mayhaps later. I got a bunch of dudes over here. Oh, hang on. While you're doing that, I can move forward this way. Already that time. All right, so I think the game wants me to go that way. Well, let's see what's over this way. Side scrolling section? Really? I can't use that by myself. I think I'll keep my distance. This is the stage from Smash. Oh, I guess it is. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, so I need... Okay. I need to switch to Alf. Join Brittany. Ribby. Ribby! Exactly 49 rock fuckers. So... Ah, uh, I see. So I throw Brittany... ...somewhere. I guess on this. And then... And then Bribby can go up there. But Ruby needs Pikmin. Okay. And then Ruby can come over here and claim the lime. Now that's lime malicious. What is that? Where's the screw Pikmin? Pikmin finna screw. Um... Can I throw Alf up there, maybe? I imagine Alf's a lot heavier though, right? Yeah, Alf can't get tossed up there. Yeah, so this just seems like something I'll have to do later then. Uh, in that case, let's just, let's just go here. Well, I guess I can just manually walk since we're all here right now. How many of these? I've got 52 of these. That seem like a good amount of rock. Dwayne Johnson's. Oh shit! No, he's drowning! Water is lethal to Pikmin! I need to blow the whistle with B to call the Pikmin back over here! He's dying! It's all good. It's all good. I was trying to lock onto this thing. Now let's have Brittany find more frub. Or maybe there isn't more frub yet? Doesn't look like the frub is on the map right now. Uh, so we might have to wait until later then. 
guess for now you can go there. Then we can have you start working on this. You have to kind of spam the button, I think, and hold it down. It's all well and good. I don't really have too many Pikmin that aren't flowered right now. There's a couple, but not too many. The signal must be coming from there. Okay. Yeah, that's not an ominous tree or anything like that. Um, that looks like something I might be able to... Might be able to throw a Brittany up there. Okay. Uh... So I guess... Should I still have some reds with me, or does it not really matter? I guess I'll have all the rocks that I can right now. You want some. Just about halfway through the day. No kidoki. Got some uh, Pikmin over here that need some nectar. Fucking go through the whole fucking cycle. And then some shit over here as well. Is there really no way to organize this? I guess that's fine. Oh, let's see. Alf. Alfie, my boy! I'm trying to be more like you! Oh, you can't get up there. Oh, oh. oh, holy shit! Look at him go! It's like a fucking mosh pit. Can I not get up there? Uh, oh, maybe I can. I'll, I'll check later. I'm going this way now. What? What's this data file doing all the way out here? I mean, they've been everywhere, so I'm not surprised. Journal entry number three. My search for the treasure continues with no luck, but I can't fly back home to Hawkatate without procuring a few priceless artifacts. I'm selling something. I'm sensing something valuable up ahead, but I'm also sensing danger. So if someone finds this data file, please send word to my son that I didn't make it. Your son? Captain Olimar, there's another captain who's been through here, and he's from Hakatate. People from their planet go to such extremes to scavenge treasure. Maybe it's all the vegetables they eat that make them so treasure crazed. crazed. Well, sad to say, it looks like this Olimar has met his end up ahead. Olimar's fucking dead! Oh well. Serves him fucking right. Where is- why do I have 99 out of 100? Are you one? What is this? There, there's a glowing anomaly over there. There's one somewhere. Check that on the next day. No, 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 we're going now. Going now. 
What the fuck? Where's this dude at? My dude, my bro, where is he? This. I mean, that's just... That looks like that's the leaf here. Oh, you want me to throw up there? Okay. Let's see what we're saying. No, 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 no. I'll have you know I'm only pressing R right now. Why does the UI like go backwards every now and then? You see that? What is that happening? I was not pressing L at all. It was like some kind of nest. Looks pretty nasty to me. Oh, boss fight hints. Something doesn't feel quite right. Oh, gross. Glass slug. You nasty. Now I see why we wanted rock picking. Yes! Everyone's dead! Don't get fucked! Yeah, get fucked! Huh? Morph! Exoskeleton is made of crystal! No! Yeah, I don't- I don't remember this boss fight at all. So... Whether or not I got here is... Yet to be seen, but at the very least, brain fucking gone. I know more about Banjo Kazooie than I do this game. You can damage his exposed parts. Expose. Which is why we want some red lads. I see. I thought I had to, like, break all of its armor. Where's it hiding? Uh, where the munchies is? Yeah, throw! Go out! You'll fix it! Fucking Jerry! All on his own! Running out of time. Now we can damage it. Big. Big! No, 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 no! Keep it away! It lost its fingers. You can also just charge it. Oh. Yeah, that would have worked. Yay! Fucking cell phone? Yeah. With the fucking yeah. antenna? Yeah. This is where the signal was coming from, and that means... We still don't know where the captain is! Okay, then we'll... For now, we'll take this back to the Drake for analysis. It looks like it could be useful. Okay. Yo, Achievos. Is that fucking dragon fruit? Wait, 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 wait. You can be a rock. Birth Dwayne Johnson. Defeated by cellular device. Also known as my grandpa.
Now you see there, Sonny. The dragon fruit was invented in 1907 by late chairman of Walmart. He was really into this game called Dungeons and Dragons. But between you and me, he doesn't even know what a dungeon really is. I don't think I can get up there. Have the rest carry the fruit. Where is the fruit? They're still back here. Yeah, they're, they're traveling through. I can do that. If I charge the fruit, will they all carry it? Oh, wait. Huh? Oh, a message from the Drake. Analyzing recovered item. It's made by Nokia. This shit will never break. Data glutton. An ancient communication device used on this planet. It contains technology unknown to Kopai and is emitting a signal even now. I'll have Alf take a look at this tonight to see if we can have any use for it. He might even have a few ideas with his engineer's ex expertise. Yo, where's that Froob? Froob, hurry up! Uh, we... Wait, that didn't do anything. Charging seems to not really help too much. can certainly put a few extras, though, to help it move faster. Alright, so does the map show me where my lost friends are, or no? Uh, idle, 48. Working, squad, 26. Okay, so there's a bunch of idle, but they're all over here. Says there's still one. Where is this one? There's one dude somewhere dying. He's not okay. Are you okay? No, he's not. We might have to lose one. Oh, it's a rock Pikmin. Oh, he's over here. He's over here. Wait, where was that? Oh god, I need to... I need to do... Uh, where was it? Radar. This one needs to be fixed to north. Okay. He's just over here. He's vibing. Almost died. Okay. I don't know if I actually... I, I think as long as they're in this circle, they're fine. So, if I just do end day from here, I think they will live. Yeah, because then they go. Wobbity boop! Wobbity boop! Bobbity bop! Bop, 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 bop! The circle is the safety zone. Got it. Also, in the middle of that level, I had one of my friends randomly text me, Yo, I just got a table. 
Everyone give a round of applause for Jacob and buying a table. Hell yeah. Happy to hear it. I don't know what he's doing with that table. Presumably eating. But fuck yes. Can't wait to taste the new fruit. Zest Bomb. I like that name. Piss. Nice. Fire breathing feast. Dragon fruit is very stinky. Hey, stinky! There's fruit files. Look at them rainbows. Knowing this is waiting at the end of the day makes it all worth it. Only I didn't have to share it with the others. Well, there goes our original preservatives. It's good to build our juice supply like this. We should be alright for a little while. Oh, we got... <laughs> Oh, now we got shit tons of rock pikmin. Okay. I see. That, so that's what the graph has been. The graph actually has been showing me... Uh, the number of pikmin that we're having. Uh, five more until next rank? What the fuck you mean, rank? We recovered the communication device that was inside the armored Maudad. According to Alf, this device contains parts that may expand the Drake's communications range. Never seen him so excited. I'm more than happy to write today's report while Alf examines the device. Sometimes he can be so diligent. Brittany. You can now fight the armored Maudad in a defeat this exclamation point mission period okay that's fine I guess day four space space is made of space and it looks very nice distant tundra all right, my monitor keeps cutting out, and this is very annoying. I don't know what to do about this. Brilliant, Alf. You expanded the Drake's receiver range. Ah, oh, thanks. They don't call me the keen engineer for nothing. Nobody calls you that. I know. The origin of the signal is unclear. Maybe it's the captain. We should investigate this at once. Good idea, Alf. Let's do it. Poor Alf. Too early or day? What does that do? So that memo data we found was left behind by someone from the planet Hokote? Correct. I wonder how Hokotations would fare on this planet. They're vegetarians, you know. Vegetarians? Does that mean what I think it means? If you think it means that they don't eat meat, then yes. Hokotite is known for its pick pick carrots. I've tried them once. They were kind of gross. You ate vegetables. I can hardly believe it. So wait, 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 wait. You're trying to tell me they've known about another planet that has more food, and they don't just ask them for food? Actually, I don't know the the story of Pikmin. Maybe they kind of go through the same thing, where they need food from this planet. I'm I'm assuming actually. Now that I think about it, that's probably what is going on. I can hardly believe it. It was my duty as a botanist, but those carrots aren't really suited for the Copatite palate. Palate? Right, but if we ate vegetables, maybe we wouldn't have to travel. Oh, <laughs> they made the same joke, okay. 279,000 light years. 100,000, rather. You get light food. Light food? Strong. I am having big strong. I'm so very strong. 
unexplored. Where are these fruit logs? Oh, okay. It's a scientist and a food eater. I'm excited about this new source of potential nutrition. I just wish it didn't look like it was covered in pimples. Luckily, the taste of it is like delicious and scrumptious had a baby. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's gather as many of these as we can. Olimar in both game runs into a massive debt and has to explore the planet to get items that sell for a lot. Oh, does it have the same thing with the food preservation then? Uh, like where you need to gather fruit in order to live in Pikmin 1 and 2. This fruit is so sour that one bite makes my whole face want to climb into my mouth and pull it back out. It's high in Pik Piktamin U, though, so I guess I'll try adding a small amount of juice to other food. Better food. It does not. Okay, so you just have infinite time in that game. So then, the the juice mechanic thing is new to this game. H how do generally Pikmin fans feel about this then? I guess you mentioned earlier, you can just go and collect a shit ton of fruit. And like grind collecting fruit, so it's like a non-mechanic. It's just like, it's there for flavor, I guess? You can press minus to look at these when you collect the fruit. Oh, okay. This one's sour, but smells really nice. I wonder if the juice would work as a deodorant? What? I would also wonder if we can spare a little for the experiment. Finally, I wonder if the captain would notice if I doused him in it while his back was turned. Okay. Even though it looks like one of the monstrous beasts that this planet has many of, this fruit has a light flavor and tons of seeds. Yes, it does. It'll be a great food source back home, if people don't run away from it in terror. Okay. Cool lore. Oh, and there's lore for all the enemies as well? I might not read all of these. Wait! They all- They both have their own, like, comments separately. Oh god, that's- that's a lot of text. There's five characters here. Wait, I thought there was only three. Oh god. Wait, wait, wait. Does... Wait, does only Brittany write about these then? And then... It's the enemies, okay. One of them talks about how they would cook the enemies. <laughs> Who does that? Do I not have- I might not have them right now. Only a very confident designer would wave through issues like bright red warning coloration and a tendency to sleep in broad daylight. There is no way a full frontal assault on this thing will work, so we have to get creative. I'm thinking we should hit back hard while it sleeps, or maybe target those thin-looking eyeballs. Eyeballs. White polka dots on the red is quite a look. Something about it is familiar, but where? Ah, right, it reminds me of the captain! Not the polka dots, I mean, just the way it snores and naps in the sun. Yeah, so I know the bulb orb. A few of these enemies I'm, like, vaguely familiar with. Obviously, bulb orb is the element to smash, but, like, I've seen some of these other things in, like, Nintendo Land. And such. There's a lot of enemies in this game, as far as I'm aware. Let's go ahead and land. <laughs> Wally walk. Ah, this is the weather outside today. The roads were shit today. Oh, cool, we're dying. Ow, 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 ow! My face! Alfie! Are you okay? Alfie! I said, are you okay? Oh, man, don't tell me we've been separated again! Uh oh, I heard something. 
It's a stone. What? Oh, T. There's something strange going on in there. Wait, where's my whistle? Don't let me whistle right now. They like it. What are these Pikmin doing? Pikmin sprouts. Okay, so you can use yellow to like conduct electricity. Wait, I don't think I wanted to do that. Now I can't get the thing. We noodling again. Is this another onion? I guess they must need light to live. Oh, I can just walk over the, the wire. Okay. Alright, time to collect many a pickle. Does this hurt me? Yeah. Wait, is that- is that green thing a health meter? Uh, next to my... Icon? Yes, it is. Ooh. I guess that would make sense that the enemies can attack me. Yo! Stop getting frisky with the mushroom, my dude! Yellow Pikmin can be thrown very high up in the air. Okay. Interesting mechanic. Every game I've been playing lately has had thrusting in it! I'm sick of all this filth! I just want a fun baby game! Okay? I don't want it to be invoked with the name of sex in my house. A oh, hot spring. Oh, that water is okay for Pikmin. Luckily, we seem to have infinite amount of time here. That would make this hard if you could run out of time in this segment where you can't get back to your ship. Just give me two more. They are so very strong. Look at them. Excellent. Yeah, it's just what I needed. What is this? What, is that a potato in there? What is that? What is in there? I can't really see it like they're here. Okay. Oh, hang on. How did I not notice this thing? Everyone! Let's go! Like a... Weird... Protrusion up there. I don't know how I feel about it. Weirdly suggestive for ice. I've heard that the original Pikmin is considered to be a pretty difficult game. How does the difficulty stack for this? Like, I'm okay if it's a harder game, but like, is this just as hard or easier in general? Why? It's difficult. Okay. <sighs> it's good to be outside again. I was getting claustrophobic in that cave. Pikmin 1 is the hardest one. Okay. Hey, there's Alf in the SS Drake. 
Alf, I'm over here. Oh, Brittany. <sighs> Brittany, thank goodness you're okay. So you're on the other side of the river. Yep. Correct. The first priority is to reunite, so let's work together. Please, give me instructions. Got it. This place is absolutely freezing. If we don't move, I'm afraid we're going to die of exposure. You're wearing a space suit. Aren't space suits supposed to be warm because space is cold? That is, if we don't die of starvation first. Oh, now the time has begun. Hey, Brittany, what are those? New type of Pikmin I found. Yeah, they're yellow and have big ears. Oh, I want one. Okay, so you can escape if this thing tries to grab you. We're stuck on a different planet! What is this? From here, I should be able to throw them to the other side. I'm afraid if I throw too many. Okay. After a pellet has been harvested, another one will eventually grow in its place. Okay. Hey, let's gather... 15 and 15, maybe? For now? I think we mostly need to use... Some yellows, if I had to guess. Which we can have. Yeah. You come back. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Yo, we crafting and mining. I've arrived! Okay. They're just digging, though. Where did they... Oh, they just pop out on the other side. Okay. Oh, they eventually can clear it. Alright. It's like a shortcut. Oh, I don't think I can really do too much. That makes sense. With, uh, with the seeds yet. Because I need the yellow Pikmin. I need more yellow Pikmin, so I don't want to use those yet. Someone said cherry? What, you mean these, like, froobs? These froobs? No, these are berries. Uh-oh. In the snow, man. In the snow, man. What? Oh. Oh, that's a cherry over there. Uh, no, we'll leave the corpse there. Can the Pikmin get this for me? Uh, here's what I can do. I will command these dudes... ...charge, and then we'll swap to Brittany. Who now has more friends. We have everything. Okay. Wanted to double check. Okay, so there's a thing over here for rock Pikmin. I'm seeing that. Uh, there's another gate over here that we can charge. Which seems to have some more yellow Pikmin over that way. And you have finished digging. Where did the yellow Pikmin that I had over here go? 
Oh, right. They were opening that gate. These lads can get that for us. Can you carry this to the regular onion? Or do you need to go to your onion? I don't think I can get that like this. I think I need to throw a captain up there, probably. Oh, yeah, here's a... here's a thing. Some fire slugs over there. You guys are almost done. The Pikmin seem to be having problems carrying their load back. I better do something. Real clock has been reached. I don't know if I want to do this right now, but... Uh... Very hot over here. Throw a Pikmin into a candy pop bud and they will change color. Huh. Wait, did you do that? I guess you can if you want. I'll have the red dudes do this since they'll be resistant to the dudes over here. Also had the reds kill them. Or just get eaten themselves. Holy shit, he's dead! Well, this is just a shortcut over here. <laughs> he fucking watched him die. Oh no, this game is going to make me feel horrible about myself, isn't it? Uh that's not everything for the bridge yet. Where are you going? Another thing over this way. Um, I guess, yeah, you can do that. Ah, oh, this is what I wanted. What is this? Like a bouncy mushroom? Interesting. Yellow Pikmin are good at digging. Oh, okay. Can you dig it? Feel a warm breeze from in here. Six out of five. Yeah, this game is taking up like 600% brain power, but I'm, I'm really liking it. In some ways, it's kind of relaxing. A lot to manage at once, but it is fun. I think that is what matters. Almost complete. Where else is there things that are happening? You need to go back to the onion. There's some on Brittany's side. Are there? Oh, I probably need some 
Probably need Alf to throw some rock lads then. Uh, let's go back up here and get a couple more then. Throw him. Get him out of here! Alright, so let's come over here. Okay. Creep up behind the bearded Amprat to make it to take it by surprise. Yellow Pikmin should have no problem. Yo, fuck him up! Holy shit! Basically, dogs. Yeah. I guess that's one way to to get them to nectar is to just have your group of Pikmin charge the nectar. That seems more efficient than throwing them manually. Let's take these yellow lads, get some rocks, friends. And then we'll, uh, break some crystals. Holy shit. That just tore right through it. Okay, I guess we're all over here now. Okay, we're all over here now! It has a weak spot on the back of its shell. Okay. I'm learning that the charge seems like a good... ...a good alternative towards throwing. Just offload a shit ton of Pikmin. All instantly. Alright, well. Uh, there's a path over there that we could take. Couple more. These, these little fellers can take that. Actually, wait. I think I'm going to I'm going to need them. Please don't be trapped. No trap, please. You do that. See if there's anything else for Alf to do over here. Yeah, everyone's necked it up. Got that sweet, sweet nectar. What is this thing? Alright, you're there. There's more dog this way. Uh, I guess I can combat this. And then, uh... Try to have... I guess it's getting overtaken by reds. Uh... Let's not have that happen. Didn't Alf have more yellows? Where'd all the yellows go that he had? What is this star? Uh, 
Oh, there's a yellow skull. Oh, there's some over here. You're here. Which the, oh, that's those are kiwis. Okay. Did I get all the pieces for the bridge though? I don't think I did. So it's looking like we might have to leave uh, Brittany down on the surface, uh, surface of the planet. Unless I can be very speedy and find the rest of this bridge. Uh, there's some water over this way. That's not the way to go. You have to finish the bridge. Right. <laughs> oh, up there maybe? It's just a couple of lads though. Where did all of his yellows go? Did they die or something? What is this fucking star cherry? Or did I give them back to Brittany? This is not helpful of you. We need all of you. I need you to not worry about this shit right now. We need bridge right now. <sighs> Fucking. They're, they're trying to come back up here. Hang on, there's a thing over here. We found a snow sculpture in this frozen tundra. It looks like the face of a middle-aged man. One that I know all too well. The more I look at it, the more I think he looks like the president of the Hogatate Fright. Especially that nose. What the fuck are you talking about, Olimar? Yellow teammates throw, throw teammates to places that can't be reached on foot. I see. I see! That concludes my report from the sea! Alright, these Pikmin are being dumb. Is he getting fucking killed? Oh, we did it! Finally, they can take the corpses back. Now I can finally reunite with Alf. All right, <laughs> uh, take that back to base. Brittany, go there. Um, where's Alf? Alf, I guess we'll start having you know your Pikmin. There are 24 of them. I love the noises that they're all making. 
Where? Why are they all just standing there? It's two. Two somewhere. Where? Why is there a red over there? And there's a yellow over there! What the fuck?! Wait, that's not the way. Fuck. You... Oh god. <laughs> you go there. Wait. No, wait, there's a red there? No, that's a cherry. That's a cherry. Okay, you. Go to the red. Save- save the red. I am running out of time. I don't know if I can save the yellows that are with Alf right now. Um... Offload everything I have. Wait, did that not? <sighs> don't confirm it! Okay, you're good. Why are there 29 now that are missing? Because you. You got boned. Straight bone uppered. We're over here. Oh god. Uh, I'm just gonna run to the ship. Where is Alf? Where is he? Oh, he's down there. I think I saved everyone, too. Except these yellow Pikmin are here. Is that a problem? That the Pikmin are here? Or do they just teleport to their place that they need to be? It said zero on the counter. I'm not currently seeing any dying, so... I think when you leave them behind, you watch them get eaten by the things there. I seem to recall that in the back of my brain. And it was trauma. Oh, that was a little bit... very clutch at the end there. Might say. I see, how fascinating. So that's how the onion evolve. Looks bigger now, doesn't it? Alf tries to say that one a lot. <laughs> New fruit, yes! This is gonna be like half of one, if even, like a quarter, probably. Dragon fruit and cherry. You got five types of fruit, nicely done! Sure is a wide variety of fruit on this planet. Five is wide, apparently. I wonder what else is out there. Let's keep exploring. At least five wide. How hungry. I could have juiced the drake itself. Why does this juice look delicious? Good. We still have plenty of juice left. The whole week's worth of preservations. And we left some kiwis behind, unfortunately. All right. Well, that could have, that probably could have been managed a little better, if I had to guess. We finally completed the bridge over to the other shore. Brittany discovered a type of yellow Pikmin. Besides their big ears, I'm excited to find out what other unique characteristics they may possess. I'll have to observe them closely. Good thing they're so cute to look out. Whew, what a day. 
I think I could probably handle one more day of, of pick. How many minutes in real time uh, do the days last? I wonder. I'm so relieved you're okay, Brittany. It was a close call. I never would have made it without those yellow Pikmin. These little guys are sh sure are helpful. If our mission is a success, we should have a party to thank all of the little Pikmin. I don't know why I almost died reading that. The cliff in the cave. We could go there. Uh, there was also the area behind us here that I'm a bit curious about. What do you mean 99? It's... It's 90. Huh? <laughs> Who the fuck else is on the field? 30, 30, 130... What? What does it mean, 99? Oh, there's a bunch of yellow Pikmin over there. Uh. There's also the Kiwis, you're right. Uh, there's also fruit over here, though. So here's what I'll do. You can have all of those. Wait. No, that's not how that works. Um. Let's give you 15 of each. Split the team down the middle. Probably actually didn't need to give you that many lightning. But... Yeah. Okay, you. Uh, it was like. Actually, I'll swap to you first. I'll tell you to go over there. We'll play as uh, as Alf for a bit here. Walk over here and see what's going on with these slugs. What was it talking about? There's a there's a golden cherry over here, what? There's like a star and a gold there's like a strawberry? What where did that strawberry come from? I didn't see that a second ago. Signal is coming from over there. Oh. Wonder, can I uh can. Fucking grapes! Fucking mint, bro! Oh, there's also a, like a persimmon or an orange over here. But you can climb this? Oh, okay. This is a dead end. Maybe he can't climb it yet, but eventually. Holy fucking shit. He was telling me all about all of those grapes. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We need yellows. Definitely need to collect a bunch of yellows. Um, I guess you're fine to just wait here until I bring Alf. There's a lad down there.
Look at this one, all by himself. <laughs> Having a good ass time. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I think I have my whole squad here. Uh, there's still a little bit of grapes left, it looks like. Oh, all my yellow Pikmin are over there, though. Let's go get them back. And there's a rock down there. For some reason. Oh! Uh... Can I save them? Oh, they're just fucking planting them again. Um... Fucking... Lock onto the book! And there's fruit. Is that a fruit? Oh, this is a fruit. I see. What is that? That's like a fucking recorder in a capsule. This thing looks so familiar. I need to get it back to the Drake so I can analyze it. What is... I have to do everything from a very far distance here, it seems. Uh... Analyzing. What'd you get? Drake yes, says Drake is calling us. Commencing analysis of recovered plant. But you didn't analyze the grapes like this. Ultra spicy berry. Large amounts of ultra spicy berry essence detected. Unsuitable for consumption by crew members. Oh. Not real fruit. Hmm. But perhaps it could be useful in some other way. Let's collect some more of it and see. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Can I, like, climb up there? How do I save these Pikmin that have been tossed in the ground like this? I don't think I can yet. Um, that's a little unfortunate. There's a shopping bag over there. What? Sure is. Pikmin in the ground will be fine. Okay. Well then, goodbye, my friends, I guess. Uh, there's also a lemon and plum, I think. Just still never got that log. I should do that soon. Analyzing. We're receiving another transmission from the Drake. Analyzing recovered item. Dodge whistle. This is an optional part that adds a dodging feature to a regular whistle. I wonder if these are the same optional extras I saw in that spacesuit shop on Kopai. Oh, it's even got an instruction manual with it. I'll save it in the exploration notes. Press left or right to roll and dodge. Unavailable while using a Joy-Con controller horizontally. Fuck you! People who only got one Switch and two Joy-Cons? Trying to play this game co-op with one Joy-Cons? Serves you right. Cool! I bet this will get me out of more than a few tight spots. You see me rolling. They rolling. Got the bowling. Place we sports bowling. Uh, oh, more spicy berries over here. I guess. 
Go fuck off this shit. And then. And then the extras can come with me. To. Can I? I don't think I can actually. Oh, I see. I can throw a captain up there. And then we can just walk up there. Let's go ahead then. And start making our way to Brittany. Yeah, up there's where the plum is. Another transmission. Jesus. Productive day today, I guess. Ultra spicy nectar. Oh. Sufficient nectar gathered. On some planets, this nectar is used as a pick-me-up spray. Use Y to use an ultra spicy nectar and spray and invigorate the Pikmin in your squad. Ultra spicy nectar can also be obtained from sources other than berries. Explorers can, can, can collect it directly when they find it. Okay. Well, what does that, that do? I wonder what will happen if I press Y to apply it to the Pikmin squad. Oh, it's a power-up. So I just wasted this. Excellent. The Pikmin are really fired up now. The ultra-spicy essence seems to give them more energy. Invigorate Pikmin and boost their attack power. Oh, okay. How many seconds does that last? No! No! Friends! All right, I think I have everyone. I don't see, oh, there's some red dots. Oh, that's near the base, so that's fine. There's, there's also a cherry over there where I was fighting those dudes. There's a lot to do right now. I guess that answers my question with how linear things are, which is to say, not really. There's a lot of different things you can do. I'm sure there's like a linear story path going on here, but... <laughs> Alright, so now that we have done this... We can move our body. There's also a lime over there. And... Thing there. Um, do I have a hundred on the field? I do. Maybe I should... Swap to Brittany. Give him some more dudes. And then... He can make his way there, and then we'll go combat that shit. Yeah, I see the things on the map. I mean, I don't know which one of these fruits is a mango, because I'm kind of stupid, but I see this fruit, I see the lime, and then I see this fruit, and then I see the cherry, and then there's a plum and a lemon. I seize them. Oh, there's some grapes down here, too. Oh, here's where the captain died. Cool. Corpses are this way. I guess that's where the signal is coming from. What is this thing? What is this thing? Can't use it yet. Okay. Well, it looks like this whole area was a bust. There's just a big pool of water and some eggs. Or nectar. There is a fruit somewhere here. Like a star fruit. Whoa! Holy shit! The fuck is this thing? 
accidental boss fight. Well, this is what the, the powder would have been good for, huh? Oh, wait, there's some nectar right here. No! No, Rock Pikmin, no! Get away from there. Get away from there. It's going into the water. Uh... Oh shit, some, some dudes got crushed! No, 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 this is a bad idea! Bad idea, get the fuck out of here! I'm just gonna leave. I don't think I don't think I can do this right now. I think I gotta wait. Cause the dude's going in the water. He doesn't want us to kill him. He is the star though. Okay. That's good to know. Um Okay. Well in that case. Let's go uh Wait, why can't you go there? I lost a lot of Pikmin just there. It's like 30. All right. Oh. All right. Um, let's get some more yellows, I'd say. Make Brittany head to the plum. Oh. Well, she's already here, so. Fucking annihilated! Holy shit! Alright, I actually I don't even think I needed Brittany to come up there. Did I? Oh, there is this 20 up here. There's that. Does that do anything for me? Oh. Yes, it does. It does a lot for me, actually. Whole new area is open. Is that... That might be the way towards the captain? Or it's just that area? Get the mango! We got on frubs. We got seven days worth of frub. <laughs> Look at this red one. How can he go? <laughs> right, I guess they're gonna handle it. Uh, I should probably go back to the, the thing and, uh, have, uh, some more Pikmin withdrawn. Oh, there's a bunch of yellow ones that sprouted, too. Those dudes stuck in the ground back there are kind of slightly problematic, though, because it means I can't have a full squad of a hundred. Oh, Alpha will help me. That's good. And helpful. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, I don't think I can get that Clementine or whatever yet, so... Plum. Plumpty. I don't know why I'm auto-running, I can just walk there myself. Which I think might even be a little bit faster than commanding. That's fine. I guess they just do that on their own every now and then. And 
you. Um, I guess just go here and then we'll have Alf get there eventually. Oh, there is a yellow one trapped over here. Okay. Now we go here. How much time do we have? A uh, little... Oh, wait! Yeah. Fuck! I accidentally started walking the wrong direction. Good. Yeah, that should be enough. Why do you gotta go the long way? Alright, whatever. No! Just put the max number. Looks like you can go only double of what it's requesting. <laughs> I like how when you whistle at them while they're busy, they just look at you like, what the fuck you want from me? Might not have enough time to do what's what's in this cave. Let's see though. We can always retreat if we need to. Oh shit, I just fucking did the yellow dudes. What's wrong with the Pikmin? They're panicking! Maybe we'll just whistling at them with B will calm them down. No! 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 I, fuck, I thought it was gonna default to the red ones again. Do not drown on me right now. Fuck. It was not what I was looking- that was not very cash money of me at all. All these poor innocent Pikmin have to die! I cannot throw to that. This is a very dangerous place for all these Pikmin. Uh, some electricity over here. I guess we can bring them through, we just have to be really careful. Yo. You're being dumb. You are stuck. He is not okay right now. Alright, well that creates a light. Okay. There are two lads that are dying. Two of them? Two of them? Where? We are ready. These two blinking. Okay. They are rocks. And lobsters. Oh god. I see what I have to do here. To throw captain. Throw captain. Swap to him. Now the squad is back together. Uh, a bunch of red ones got lost. 
eight? Why are there now eight? Some fall down here? Yeah. Where else are there? Up ahead. What is this, I wonder? There's gonna be so many working on that. We'll do that. It's more Pikmin, okay. We'll do that later. Um, I guess the ones that are missing from the squad are these ones that are carrying this thing. New Froob. This one is safe now. Uh, fuck. Let's see if I can't save these two rocks. You can press minus while looking at the fruit. Yeah, I'll try to remember. Alright, so they are... One down there. These dudes are considered part of the squad now. That one got dumb for a second there, though. Okay. Yeah. Looks like we did okay. We had... I had a lot of, uh... Things that I did all at once there. Tons of fruit. Yes, we got a lot of fruit. I did a lot of exploring. Um, I guess it was just mostly fruit. Now that I think about it, but still. Yo, and I got the, um... He murdered a bunch of Pikmin. I, I met a hairy boss that killed even more Pikmin. Um... Holy shit. And then uh, I got other things as well. So yeah, like the the the, the soup, the, the spicy soup. So yeah, we got lots of stuff. No fruit, yay! Oh, I see. Yeah, press minus here. Okay. Oh no 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 no! Oh damn! This guy's delicacy. Well, now I can't press minus because I hit fast forward. I thought it was just going to... I didn't think it was going to go in that order. I thought it was going to go for the strawberry, then the cherry. There we go. Oh, I can review it here. Cupid's Grenade. Yes! The people of Kopai will be thrilled that we found this sweet, entirely delicious food source. They'll adore us forever when we introduce them to this weapon of mass nutrition. Okay. These little spheres have it all. Smooth skin, delicate, del delicate, delicious juice, a nice smell. They're almost perfect. Except that exact shade of green is the captain's, like, favorite color of all time. He painted his room, his fingernails, and I heard even his dog this color. Blech. His fingernails? He got, he got his fingers? <laughs> this fuzzy produce... Produce. Oh, this fuzzy produce thought it could disguise itself as one of the native creatures. But I'd know the smell of pick temin you anywhere. Take that, Froob! It's grenade. Velvety Dream Drop. Wait, where is it? Why is it not on the page yet? Huh? I 
like you have to actually do all of it. Yeah, and then it gets added. Okay. The taste of this one takes me back to Auntie Bay's famous fruit pastries. The pit's pretty big, so there's not a whole lot of juice in there, but maybe someday this pit will grow into a tree in Auntie Bay's backyard. Then she can taste it for herself. Auntie Bay? Dapper Blob. Wait, what was that last one called? I forgot to read the name of it. I think. Velvety Dream Drop. That's a mango. That's a mango over there! Citrus Lump. These are satisfying sound effects as well. You got ten types of fruit nicely done. Having analyzed several different types of fruit, you're now able to triangulate fruity position. We can now use our radar to locate fruit. Okay. Wait, I thought we already could... Huh? Display the location of fruit even in areas you haven't explored. Oh, okay. We worked hard today, and now it's time for our reward. That's a lot. That is a lot of fruit. Looks like we'll be good for a little while. This is great. We actually have a little bit of juice. A little bit of a juice buffer. Let's look at... Oh, yeah. I also forgot. We found the dodge thing, which I didn't make use of to save the lives of many Pikmin that died. Holy shit. Fucking 28 died today. I've lost 30. It keeps track of how many total Pikmin die? No! No, no! Don't do that to me! Yo, we ranking. We do be ranking. Does this game auto save at the end of the level? Is it saved now? An ode to Captain Charlie. Oh, Captain Charlie. Where could you be? Can you control your appetite? Will you teach me? For many years, I've seen you as a mentor. Oh, Captain Charlie, I really need to work on my rhyming. Yeah, probably. Probably should do that. Oh, oh no, it saves right here. It saves when it says saving on screen. Hmm. All right, well, that's five days of exploration down. I'd love to keep going. Oh, you can see 17 there, 18 there. We found nothing in tropical wilds. I wonder if there's any reason to go back there yet. Interesting. So is this like fucking Australia and then Antarctica in the same continent? But then what is this, Europe? fucking no. Pangea theory all over again. It's reverting back to a single mass of land. Alf, what's wrong? That's the captain. You think he's lonely out there by himself? Come on, Alf, get a hold of yourself. You're not helping the captain by moping around. The captain wants us to complete our mission. He wants us to save the people of Kopai. What about saving him? That too. Okay. And so, I guess next time we will uh, discover what that star is. Go through there, which will lead us towards the captain. Presumably. Some grapes down there. Another shopping bag. Or... Um, some new enemy entries as well. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. I'm 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 into it. All right, I'm into it. Fine, you won video game. I like this video game. Maybe use the spray to kill the long legs. It could work. 
Maybe it's okay if I wait, though. Because I'll just, uh, you know, eventually I'll get some water Pikmin, I imagine, and then this will be fine. You can kill it before it retreats. Hmm. Well, remind me about this next time, because this is the closure of the stream. No. Uh. I do believe, anyways. Let me just check what's on the, the menu one more time, see if there's anything I want to check out real quick before I quite close out here. Bingo battle mission. Yeah, that's good. I'm good. <laughs> I can't do the bingo battle anyways and mission. We'll check we'll check out the other stuff eventually. But this is this is fun. I like this. Pikmin is fun! I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me. I also don't even think I got this far in the game, so I'm already going to be blind for the rest of the game, essentially. So I don't remember shit about this game from what I've seen of it. So I do know that there's like flying Pikmin eventually. That's about it. Flying Pikmin, blue Pikmin are resistant to water. Anything else that's Pikmin related, like in a different type of Pikmin, I wouldn't be aware of it. I don't remember it. But um, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I will be back in like four days with this. I think the way I'm going to start handling things as for like scheduling, as long as like nothing comes up and gets in the way, I think what I might start doing is like, since I'm doing three games at once, I do game one, game two, game three, day off. Game one, game two, game three, day off. I think that's how I'm going to start doing things. I mean, I, I kind of have already been doing that, but I haven't really been acknowledging that as a schedule. So I'll try to find a way to like communicate that as my schedule for streams. Uh, so that way it's more obvious what I'm doing. Um, these are the developments of me trying to uh, organize my stream a little better and not just be guy plays video games at random, uh, which is also fine, I guess. Uh, but. You know, I, I figured 2022 will be the year of improving the quality of the stream. That's what we're doing. Um, but yeah, take care. I'll see you in two days with Xenoblade. And uh, yeah, take it easy.